Hi, today I have two multiply choice questions for you. This is beginning level of the Mendelian genetics. Questions are simple and I hope that you would be able to solve them on your own. So you may stop video here, choose the correct answer and then start video again and compare your answer with my answers and explanations. So first question. Round seed is dominant over the wrinkled seed in P. If homozygous round seed peas are crossed with wrinkled seeded peas, the offspring would be. And um, we told that round seed is uh, dominant, so we can put capital R, capital R here and on one side and another seed is wrinkled and we are not told what is the genotype of that seed but uh, if we suggested uh, heterozygous like uh, capital R small r this seed wouldn't be wrinkled anymore because capital R that stands for dominant uh, allele would produce phenotypically uh, round uh, seed. So the only choice that we have for the uh, wrinkled seed is small r, small r. So now we can build Punnett square here. And here what we're going to get capital R, small r here capital R small r here, capital R small r here, and capital R small r here. So um, all the offspring going to be of one genotype and it's going to be of the one phenotype because we see that um, in each box capital R present and that means that uh, in this case uh, all the offspring, those different from uh, dominant homozygous parent and this is going to be heterozygous uh, but phenotypically would look the same. So the correct answer would be A all round and we can cross out all the rest answer that is not correct. So second question if the heterozygous round seeded pea plants are self pollinated, the offspring would be. And basically, we just cross uh, this um, progeny of these two parents uh, among each other. So we just put here on one side capital R, small r and capital R and small r on the other side and we build our Punnett square and here now we have capital R capital R in this box small r capital R here capital R small r here and small r small r here so uh, as you see here, 75% uh, three out of four going to be phenotypically uh, round. So answer A is correct. Uh, let's check uh, the other answers. 50% would be heterozygous. So as you see, Two out of four is uh, heterozygous, small r, capital R. So we also have such um, seeds and they represent 50%. So this is also correct answer. And uh, C, 25% would be uh, homozygous recessive. And we also have 25% one box out of four that is uh, homozygous recessive small r small r so this is answer is also correct so 
the correct answer is D, all of the above. So, thank you for your attention. This is all for today. Please subscribe to my new videos that I post almost every day. Goodbye.